Usually, when we print multiple objects, we print one and one layer over the whole build plate. This creates a lot of travel movement, and sometimes when we have small parts like you see on the screen here, it would be nice to print more at once. Then we don't have to bother with cooling times and so on. Travel movements will create a lot of stringing, especially if you print PET G or other high viscosity materials. So let's slice these parts. So let's have a look at the travel movements. These are the travel movements and as you can see it travels back and forth 96 times or more than that because we have 96 layers let's have a look at what's going on let's simulate this print so let's start the first layer and see finish the first layer on the first part and then it travels and of course we have retraction and we have travel so this takes time and it could cause stringing as well let's go to the next layer and see this is layer 2 so we already traveled back to the first part. So at the end of the second layer, we again, we are traveling from the first to the second part. More time and more stringing going on. When finishing the second layer on the second part, again, we travel back to the first part. So actually now at layer three, we have four travel movements. We have from the first layer to the first layer, from the first layer to the second layer, from the second layer to the second layer, from the second layer to the third layer. So this goes on all the way up. So while printing the second part, the first layer on the first part actually gets time to cool down. This means that we don't get as good layer adhesion as if we printed the first part in one go. If we printed second layer on top of the first layer on the first part immediately, it will create a better layer adhesion. The first layer not been able to cool down so much. So let's print one object at a time and I will show you how. So this setting is called print sequence. If it's not available in your settings, then you can click one of the wheels and search for print sequence and then just check this box close to the bottom in your settings you will find print sequence so here you can see all at once this is normal but if you set one at a time something will happen so let's close that and slice it and we will also save a little bit of time uh, on these objects not so much but if you print let's say four objects or more then you will save more time because you reduce the travel now we have one travel movement and not 150 so that's why you reduce the stringing and increase layer addition so let's have a look i will tell you something important about placing the objects after i show you this so let's have a look let's play this first layer let's speed it up so what happens at the end of this layer now it started the second layer on top of the first layer and at this point the first layer is still a little bit hot not cooled down as it would be if we printed all parts at once and as you can see no travel movements between the parts there's only one travel movement that's going on up here of course one thing is very important when you do this you cannot place the parts too close to each other or your hotan will crash with the previous part so you could not fill up the bed with a lot of parts you need to have space between them so make sure that you have that in place and you are good to go so that's today's quick tip on printing multiple objects one part at a time have a nice one and see you guys soon